Hello and welcome back yet again to Snowtopia and the Open Alpha Update 7. And we are starting out fresh with a new map or the first map that were released for the game. Uh, open. I don't remember what it's called, the Mountain Peak or something like that. I just pressed it but uh, forgot straight away. But anyway, we will uh, retry this and uh, try to do something smart. I did see that there was a new release uh, four days ago as I record this on the 24th of June. I don't know what that includes but uh, maybe we'll, we'll see it as we play. I would guess that it's mainly bug fixes or something like that. Anyway, I think that I will start from uh, this village here in the uh, in uh, this start uh, as kind of the lowest point in the map, or is that lower? This is quite possibly lower. Oh, I would say on the same height. We haven't started with this uh, village or ski center any time, I think. So we will do that this time. First off, I think we will place in a gondola and just see how long. No, oh, lift too long. No, not lift too long. Right, so we will get you up there as we have a big lift now to run uh, a lot of capacity on, uh, which will be good. And also a peak here, uh, which obviously can reach all the ski centers if we would like to. We will, of course, connect to where we are starting. Otherwise, nothing will work. So uh, that would be quite dumb of us if we didn't do that. And I think in general that we will try to do uh, a quite a gentle research uh, overall especially com compared to how uh, the Frozen Peak map plays. But that's a lot to do with how the, as I said, how the map actually plays. Uh, this plays much more gentle than the Frozen Peak map in general. Uh, so it's much easier to do a more uh, sort of gentle uh, looking run and, uh, and things like that. Blocked by rock. What? Cliff rock. Where do you see a cliff rock? Right? Nope, nope, nope. All right. Hello, game. What the hell? Is it something here? I, no, I guess it's something here. You going to be happy now? Nope. No. Hey, what the hell? All right. Just a teeny bit, teeny bit, teeny bit. Teeny, teeny, or tiny, rather. No. All right, uh, let's uh, redo this then. I would guess this is going to be the problem. But we will uh, try. All right, so if we just try and do something more that we don't really want to do, just go straight down. No, blocked by cliff. Come on. What is the problem here? Right. Now we'll just try to do really in the middle as much as I can. What? What does have, have happened? Oh. <clears throat> All right then, so let's try this side. Maybe we will not be able to play this uh, update at all. It 
seems to be that way actually. Or that just this rock here is super weird. So if we instead do something like this. Yeah, this obviously, for whatever reason, is working fine. So it's something to do with the mountain here. So we'll try to do something like this then. Just a way to get down. Oh, come on, just give me a little bit more. Right? You're gonna block me down the rest of the way, no matter what? Yes and no. All right. Uh, so let's have the end there done. Uh, we'll have the uh, steep side. Slope blocked by a rock cliff. Oh, how strange. Uh, all right, let's see if we can't get through here again or on a second try. Right. Yeah. Can we do something like this then at least? Yeah, we can. That's good. So we have at least a part that is more, uh, more slope width. So obviously this is going to be a long, nice and green run. Tying back all the way here. There we go. And we have one volunteer unsigned. Uh, that will obviously also go to some maintenance. Uh, we will focus on the snow grooming capacity uh, to start with. All right, and you will get one. Right, so can we do anything more with that? Well, we certainly can. Uh, I think we can take a run from here and go this side as well. Now, I don't know if this really is much more interesting as such for a skier. It's still a green slope, but uh, I can't really come up here, which kind of bugs me. Just want to get in. Oh, come on. Just now. You just want to get to there or something. <clears throat> so we we chose a really poor start starting point there, I guess, or something. Because uh, as you see, I, I'm having severe trouble uh, getting in anything at all there. Right, must go downhill. All right, so you can come over there a little bit at least. So that's good. And another green slope, so. Um, quite nice look overall, but uh, yeah, this just sort of destroys it, really, to be honest. Really, really frustrated about that. And uh, yeah, we, we are going to need, or will need and need. I kind of like that peak, but now this peak is sort of destroyed almost for us. I don't know how to tackle that, to, to, to be honest at all. Uh, I prob should we probably uh, submit a bug report or something uh, with that, but uh, we'll don't, or we'll, we'll skip that rather. 
All right, so we've got a lot there. We haven't uh, a lot of skiers come in. Well, we've got skiers come in slowly but surely. I'm thinking about what's the next move here. Obviously, uh, this is not even started anyone getting in there at all yet, but uh, I'm thinking about what to do next. Tying down to this place, were something good in um, the Open Alpha Update 6 series that we did. And that played out quite nicely using that and tying down here in between. But I feel like that might be trouble as well here. So I almost need to like place the runs first and just check if, if uh, they will go in as I want. Yeah, that looks to be absolutely no problem whatsoever. It's just this damn cliff face or something. Yeah, this side works properly fine. And if we do the same thing here, nope. <laughs> something, something is really buggy with it. Just where we connected our first lift, which uh, is trouble for us. Uh, so where the heck are we going to take next aim for? Is it this peak or is it this peak or is it possibly connecting down? I kind of feel like it is this peak to be honest. Uh, because we can do some quite nice runs from there. And I think, I think we will go gondola, 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 because that's uh, really how the game works best. Too short list. All right. That's not something that you see too often in this game. Uh, but uh, right, we can connect you sort of to this side then. And uh, we can give you all the capacity that you want or need or more than it probably. And we'll connect in some tie-ins here. First one obviously being just straight down here. Red slope could quite possibly be even harder. Let's see if I can get that harder. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> so 20%, I guess, is uh, it is. <coughs> Twenty percent must be the threshold done, since this is uh, red at nineteen and this is uh, black at twenty percent, as an average. So, as I said, must be the threshold cut, so to say. Happiness really good here. Clumsy riders should unlock the third star here, and uh, mountain lovers, I think, will uh, do so too. And uh, sport club, sport clubs, kids uh, will come there too. Uh, very easily. So that will mean uh, more volunteers for us and everything like that, so that's nice. So I think we will uh, try to get in with a run that just comes down pretty much straight down this side. That I thought would be more of a bluish run. Uh, but this maybe turns out to be red, but uh, yeah, at 12%, so that's all right. I really thought you were going to be uh, blue though, but uh, yeah, it, it is a fair bit steeper than blue maybe. It just had that look to it uh, in my mind, but yeah, this is probably fair to say that it's uh, red-ish. 
And how do we want to do this? Kind of want to do it like that, but it obviously didn't really work. So let's do something like that. Uh, another cross over there, a red one. Obviously, we can't really cross over from the other way. And uh, while we're planning our next move here, it, it, it's uh, early in uh, the map progress, so to say. So it's all about making the moves while we have the volunteers to do anything we want, so to say. But yeah, while we're doing this, remember to smash that like button if you're enjoying the show. If you haven't done so yet, do hit that subscribe button if you want to see more Snowtopia and follow along here as the game develops. Do check out the devs Discord uh, webpage and everything like that. The links are in the descriptions and uh, uh, those are very nice and listen to your feedback and everything like that. So nice to have uh, have talks with them and everything like that. So do do that. And if you for some reason would like to support the channel more, I do offer membership. So if that is something you would uh, consider, do check that out. And if you're doing that, I'm so humbled that you would like or even think about supporting the channel. It's a great way to support the channel and support me. Uh, so very, very much appreciate that if you, for whatever reason, do decide to check that out. So with that said, what are we doing next? I don't know at all, actually. And uh, I also think that uh, there, there might not be more things that we do here. And uh, yeah, it, it feels like this is one thing that have changed the attendance uh, of skiers, this bug that we had last time around where it was always overfilled at the ski center. Uh, that doesn't really seem to be happening at the moment. And uh, also it feels like there's a lot more balance in the, in the skiers uh, than uh, last time around. So I think they have had some uh, fix for fixes slash balancing issues in uh, this release done. So uh, that's pretty nice. And that means that you also need, uh, of course, a little bit uh, more varied research to get the most resources available to you. And uh, one other thing is, of course, that it will help that you will not have long waiting queues, which will drive down the happiness rating, which were a big, big issue actually in uh, Open Alpha Update 7 for this hotfix or whatever we call it. So very happy about those improvements. Uh, we've got eight stars now. So that's good. Uh, oh, 98% happiness and 97 here on the mountain lovers and clumsy riders. That's really, really darn high. And uh, we don't have anyone for the mechanic. So let's get in a mechanic here. I uh, kind of want to have that free there, to be honest. So... Yeah, that's, that's close. Oh, I can put you in the action ski center, All right? I'm fine with that. Oh, my computer not so much if you heard that <laughs> kicking out the... Uh, There we go. Yeah, turning on the fans at really high uh, high settings there. But yeah, also actually just upgraded my computer and that was about for like two, three days with reinstalling Windows and all the things uh, just because I, I set the memory cards or the, yeah, the RAM memory to be at their uh, set megahertz to 3200 uh, DDR4, but the motherboard uh, says its defaults to 2400 and the rest is overclock. So just changing one setting to say that the memory should be in uh, 3200 apparently sort of 
made the computer very unstable. So you had to set an overclock profile that also were very easily available in the BIOS. But uh, I didn't know until like two, three days in with uh, fail, fail searching and uh, tweaking and uh, reading different threads and getting tons of blue screens of death uh, from Windows and all those things. And one of the things that happened uh, while doing that is that I accidentally lost some saves uh, in a couple of games. One save that were uh, a save on, on 100 hours. That's a pretty tough save to lose, actually. But uh, then again, that actually just were an excuse to play the updated game. And of course, I'm talking about Football Manager, if that is something you are remotely interested in. Uh, I did a series or are doing still as I'm recording this. At least it's not all uploaded of that 100 hour save uh, to the YouTubes of uh, Football Manager 2019. But uh, yeah, I said an excuse to start Football Manager 2020. So that's pretty interesting uh, so far. And uh, doing the let's play a little bit different there or just a little bit more effective, even though it's raw and slow gaming as ever here on the channel. And uh, yeah, with that said, talking about a totally different game, I think we will call it an episode here. Uh, so thank you very much for watching and I will see you again here in uh, Snowtopia or any other game pretty soon. And I hope you will join me. Bye bye. You have been watching Rosco Gaming and I hope you have enjoyed. On clicking on the video on the left you will see the next video in this series and on the right or latest upload to the channel. And with that said, thank you again for watching.